Cannabis Sativa around here, man. Prop 19 and all of that. <laughs> it's your boy, though, man. Petey Green of the Philly scene and all of that, man. And like I said, man, we back. And we back in a major way. And I got my boy live from Cali in the building. I got my man, Mr. Mr. Disaster. Disaster. Bobby. Was, was cracking, Disaster. What up? Oh, man. You already fucking know, boy. What's cracking? It's the Gunline Battleground radio show, man. What's good with you? I'm on the radio. Oh, okay. We on the radio. I'm on the radio. I'm on the... Yeah, what's up, man? Just over here pressing some of that weed. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, yo, you, 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 you know we on the same sponsor over here, right? Oh yeah, what you, what you got? What you working with? Yo, I got some of this shit that's purple. It's so purple, man. It's the Lakers. I got some, I got some, I got some Lakers <laughs> shit going on over here. <laughs> oh, that's right, man. That's cool. That's cool. Purple. All right, all right, man. Well, I got some of this blue. How about that? You got, you got some, some blue. You got some blue? Purple is the old shit right there, man. Y'all still stuck on purple, man. We got blue now. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, hey, wait, wait. You know what, though? I'm a fine connoisseur myself. So you know what? I got to come out there and taste your blue disaster. You dig? Man, Pause. Hey, there's some of that blueberry OG right now, man. It's like 65 and 8. Which is a good oh, life man. Oh, disaster. What are you doing, no, I man? I love it. I love it. Let's go, my nigga. Let's go. Let's go. Let's but get you it cracking. You, you just walk into a store, man. It's like, come on, man. It's like, we, we, you know what I mean? You just walk into the store. Walk into the store, nigga. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Hey, yo. <laughs> Hey, yo, man, we back in the major way, man, Gunline Battleground Show. We've been off for two weeks, man. We was repping the holiday and all of that, man, but we back in a major way. And we got you in the building, man. We had Smack, you know what I mean, call up earlier, man, and hit us up, man. It's like a celebration up here, man. We popping bottles and blowing the, the finest bud in the building. So I want you to let the people know, man, we got a worldwide audience, man. You know what I mean? And I only co-sign that official street shit. So I want you to let the people know right off top, man, who is Disaster? Uh, Disaster is the person that's going to fuck your mother. Man, I, I don't know, man. To put me in a nutshell, man, I, I am that battle rapper that motherfuckers don't like. And you know what? I'm comfortable being that person because I'm me. I don't bite my tongue. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking my mind. That's who I am. I'm fucking, I'm being myself and just, I, I let... You know, what I do, like, on the battle circuit, especially, like, about this battle shit, like, I just express myself, man. I let, I let, I let my real emotions transfer into a battle, you know what I mean? That's who I am. I let motherfuckers know who the real me is. Hey, yo, man, I was blessed to see one of your live performances, man. Shout out to Grizzlemania too. And, I mean, oh, man, I, I saw you, I saw you <laughs> black out. Now, hold on, man. You think I forgot about the mashed potatoes and the fucking... Oh, man, that shit was crazy, man. Hey, hey yo, no. Hey, no, man. You know, we fed you like you was family down there, man. You know what I mean? I ain't think you... I, I, I know you'll never forget that. You'll never forget that. Gunline Battlegrounds fed disaster like it was Thanksgiving. We, we had oh, Thanksgiving Labor Day weekend, you dig? It was Thanksgiving in more than one way, you know what I'm saying? We was eating out there. <laughs> For sure. For sure, man, for sure. The dickhead, but yeah, man, that's what it is. Yeah, man. And, uh, you like that battle or what? Hey, hey, like I, like I, like I tell the people, man. I was there, man. I got a chance to see you live and direct, man. I saw you black out, my nigga. And I, and I, and like I told you the day after, I said, man, I thought you was gonna faint. You blacked out so hard. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, I did. And for people to ask me the reason why, I kind of. You know, down a little bit right there is because, uh, yo, know, man, I just got, I got a crazy head rush and shit. I, th I think I was just rapping too fast or something. No, you know, man. I, it looked like something because, personal. It looked like something real personal down there, man. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the, the whole, the whole battle was, it could have been way more personal. Like, for, for those that don't know, I mean, it, you, it's obvious if you watch the battle, it says in fucking big ass parentheses, but we only had a week to prepare, but like, even in a week that, like, we got pretty personal with each other. But I'm pretty sure if it was, like, a month to prepare or something, we probably would have fucking completely taken each other's heads off. So, you know what I mean? Shots out to no can do. 
Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. Shout out to No King. Yeah, we played that battle here. We played that battle he's on the show. Uh, he's definitely one of the most underrated, like, MCs of all time, in my opinion. Like, I, I don't think he's, like, underrated necessarily. Like, people do recognize, like, like the status he, right. he's reached. In right. Poland, but, like, a lot of people consider him, like, one of the elite dudes right now, like, as far as, like, battling. But he really is, like, an incredible freestyler off the top, too, man. Like, the dude could come okay. up with shit off the top. Hey, hey, did uh-huh. so. So with that being said, we gonna get right into it. You know, I'm gonna throw some names. Uh-huh. I'm gonna throw uh-huh. some uh-huh. names at you. A uh, previous people, uh-huh. previous people that you battled, and you know, you sum it up for me right quick. So, I would no can do was gonna be. He was on the list, and you already summed up that. So, uh, uh-huh. let me let me go to your ill Mac. Yeah, well, well would, you, would you sum up the ill Mac? Because ill Mac battle was a really close battle, but I'll tell you what. After I beat the Source the first time, and then I, and then they, they got me to battle reverse live, and I beat him, like motherfuckers just wanted me to lose, so Ilmac was supposed to be the guy that comes in with the with the torch and saves all the little white kids with glasses, and, you know what I mean, because I'm like the bully and shit. <laughs> That was a mission fail for, for for what he was trying to do. Now, am I going to say, like, I bodied the dude? Nah, the battle was a close battle. Of course, he'll, he'll always run around saying he bodied me because that's what my fuck is doing. They insecure about a battle, you feel me? But uh, I think it was an amazing performance, man. And I think uh, that was uh, definitely one of my favorite battles I've been in. Okay. Uh, you mentioned Thesaurus. I was going to say Thesaurus. What's up with that? Yeah, uh, Thesaurus, uh, damn. That definitely was a crazy battle. Man. That, that was... It was like my first, like, that it was like this, it was the kind of formula that I had when I battled and I kind of went back to it with the no cam. It was the first time I do it. I show up to a battle with no verses. Basically, that's what I did in the source battle. So that shit was like a challenge for me more than anything. And that was like my groundbreaking battle. Okay, okay. Uh, Pumpkinhead, PH. Yo, the PH one, man, that battle was a tie, man. I don't give a fuck what anybody says, you know what I mean? They gave the battle to him. But it's cool because they had to come up with a decision. But yo, that battle, man, that shit could have won another fifth round. You feel me? And I'm always down for that, motherfuckers. No. Okay, okay. Hey, matter of fact, I even seen you battle Iron Solomon on the streets of New York. On the streets of New York, I I battle fucking I battle anyone anywhere. But there's like certain people, like that if I wanted to battle them, I want to see for myself if they would. You know what I mean? If they would be able to pull the shit off anywhere else besides their hometown, you feel me? And like, I, I feel like I feel like I, I would do it. Like, I don't give a fuck, man. You you already know I'll battle anyone anywhere. But okay, oof, I would love to body his ass. I'll tell you that much. So you would, so you would battle Solomon. So you would take Solomon oh, on the streets of New York. And I'm fucking heartbeat. Okay, so um, you know, I I, I know you just had. a like at least two battles that I guess ain't even been re- uh, released yet, so we ain't gonna speak on yeah, them. There's, like three of them. there's three of them, but there's like two main ones. Like one was oh, we gotta seven. talk about them. We gotta talk about them. I need to know right now here on the Gunline Battleground what happened at those battles in your eyes. How do you feel about your last three performances, as you say? Oh, I, my last three performances were my best ones ever. I completely ripped shit the fuck up. You feel me? Like, no sure. disrespect to the other MCs, because I, like, especially Swift and Sensa, man, they did amazing. Like, when the battle comes out, like, that shit, a lot of it's going to look really close, but, like, it, just to be honest and keep it real, because I don't bite my tongue, I definitely feel like I got over in all those battles. And and in the one with Jersey Swift before, he's, like, not really somebody that's known like that. He's just a random dude, but it's, like, you know what I mean? That shit, that shit actually was horrible, like, because, you know what I mean? That shit was a massacre, but, like, the other ones were all closer. Yo, the sense of shit from England is going to be fucking fire, because most of it was off the top. Okay. That's why I think it was crazy. All right. All right, so uh, we're going to keep it moving. No, no. We don't want to keep listen. it moving? No, listen, listen. Y'all want to keep was, it moving? Listen, no, listen. I was at Grizzle Mania, right? All right. <laughs> and I heard Real Deal tell you that he wanted it, right? And you told Real Deal if he beat the sorry that you would give him another chance. Yeah, I mean, he, he already knew that. Like, that was the whole thing uh, with the Real Deal situation. Like, I told yeah. him, like, it's but you know, off. But you know, like I know this, that Real Deal got jerked at Grizzle Mania, too. So. I uh, know nah, about that, man. Hey, it's, it's, all, it's all preference, my dude, like. Like, you know, like, when people say, no, like... No, shout, shout, what? shout, shout to the SARS. Shout to the SARS. Yes. I, think, I think it was a great battle, but I never thought 
Then it should have went into overtime. I never thought it should have yeah. went into overtime. Listen to this, though. People might think I'm saying this because the source is from the West Coast and he's a homie. No, I don't lie when it comes to shit like that. And I ain't one of those motherfuckers who sugarcoat shit for my homies just so I could have their back. I'm telling you right now, that battle needed to go where it went. And to me, when you get to the fourth round or the rounds after the main ones, if the MC doesn't have enough stamina to continue with the same amount of punches, the other person deserves it. Now, do I think Cortez, uh, do I think Pessoa's got jerked against Cortez in New York? No, I don't. You know what I mean? Like, and that's the homie. I don't think he got jerked. I think he got hated on a lot. But he didn't get jerked. But as far as the real deal battle, he won that fair and square. Like, it's just, it's all preference, my dude. You know what I mean? Like, everybody has their own opinion. Like, I can see people thinking he won it. But, like, okay. from an MC's perspective, I think it went where it needed to go. Like, I knew it was going to be overtime when I was there. I was like, this shit's going to OT. You feel me? I mean, it was a great battle. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, my dude. But at the same time, I was there, and I only co-signed that official street shit. And, I mean, it was rather raw, and I thought that... It, it, it was it was no need for an overtime. I just that that's just my opinion. Like I said, you know, shout out to the SARS, and I want to get the SARS on the show because I definitely want to holler at him about that. Because you know, in my eyes, I thought that you know maybe it never needed to go to four rounds. You dig? Well, that's just yeah. me. And 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 with that being said, I saw that man holler, and he wanted a challenge. He challenged you. I got to ask you, right now on the Gunline Battleground show, is there a problem with Real Deal, and do you want it with Real Deal, and, will, and why won't you give Real Deal a shot? And I, Mr. Uh, I'll tell you because I'm a fair motherfucker, so like, the way it happens with me is like, I give you an opportunity, I don't, I don't fight, I'm just like, alright, cool, I battled this one dude, and I beat him, you battle him, you beat him, we battle it's as simple as that. That's all you got to do is get over and do it. You okay. already knew what it was. Okay, you know what okay. It's happened more than twice, though, with him. Like, I, that wasn't the first time, to be honest with you. Back, uh, back like, a year ago when he battled Storm, Cap was trying to get me to battle Storm, and I didn't know which one of them I wanted to battle. I didn't, I didn't know if I wanted to battle one of them, and then he was battling Storm, and his brother was getting hired, and I told him if he beat Storm, I would battle him. You know what I mean? Okay. He didn't beat him. He didn't beat him. Okay. So, but like, for a skill level, the dude is an incredible MC. I mean, we're not denying that. But it's like, it's also, it's like kind of like a ladder. You're like climbing up this ladder. Like, and I feel like motherfuckers don't give me the chance. And I'm always giving people the chances. But it's like, when are motherfuckers like Averb or, or, you know what I mean? Like, okay. Solomon or all the motherfuckers that sit there and they're like, I'm so okay. good. About once a year. Okay. About okay. Once Okay. Give me a shot. I'll rip your fucking head off. Okay, okay, that's what Let I want to hear. Let him know. Let him know. That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. Right here. Bo, 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 bo. On the Gun Live Battleground show. Yeah, listen. Listen, that's what I want to hear right now. That was my next question. Who do you have a problem with, my G, and who do you want it with on the battle scene right now? If you could call out three people right now that you want their heads in a book bag, who would it be? Uh, I'd go I'd go Solomon, Hollow, and Averb. Solomon, Hollow, and Averb. Whoa! Yeah. Y'all heard it here first. Gunline Battleground Radio Show. It's your boy Ace McClick Clack, spokesman on board. Yeah. Disaster live from California. Hey, hey, Disaster, what part of California are you repping right now? I'm from the 8 I mean, it's basically like Los Angeles County. L.A. LA area. Live, live, from, live from L.A. Live from L.A. We got disaster right here. First, you said Solomon, Hollow the Don, and Averb. You want their heads in your book bag. You want to take them back. Let me think. There's, there's, some, there's more people, too, probably, man. Let me let me think real quick. I mean, I'm going to fucking... Listen. 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 Listen, we rode the plane together down to Grizzle Mania. So I know you don't bite your tongue for nobody. You know what I mean? I understand that you don't bite your tongue for nobody. So that's why I'm telling you right now. You got the, you got, you got the opportunity, man. We got a worldwide audience right now. Jen might be in Japan right now, and he might be listening right now. If you have a problem with Jen, I want you to let the people know right now. 
Tell the people right now that you that you on, who you ever you got a problem with right now. Let me tell you something about Jim, man. It's like, dude, like, yeah, I wanted to battle the dude, but like, guys played so many games and like, he's such a pussy. So I don't want to do it anymore. Like, like even if he wanted to do it, I probably wouldn't, because it's like, dude, like, the dude showed his hymen to the whole world. He showed everybody how he had a big fat hymen. You know what I mean? And in like, even if he came back. <laughs> fucking money for it or something you know what I'm saying like it's just like whatever you feel me like come on man like we already that was a year and a half ago so I'm done with him anybody basically who calls himself a king of the battle scene like or says there's some kind of champ I'm gonna fucking rip their head off if they say it be worried about someone around trying to battle you but you know what when I win I don't want to call myself the king and I don't want to be crowned I actually don't want the fucking crown motherfuckers can have it I just want to let people know that I'm right here all the time when you're sitting and thinking about how good you are just know I'm sitting in the fucking shadows and I'm looking at you that's all I want you to fucking know <laughs> hey, hey Diz hey Diz let hey, him Diz. know Diz hey, hey, hey Diz I got a question for you Speaking of speaking of battle, ghost battles and all of that, what about the unfinished Arsenal battle? Oh man, he already knows we can still get it in. You know what I mean? Like I I don't want it to die out too much because like that shit was like uh what, what am I looking at six months ago now? So uh, like hopefully it won't go too much longer than that, like over a year. But like if he still wants to do it, we could do it. You know what I'm saying? It's just like there's there's a couple of things about it. Like he probably wants to do it like in Jersey or somewhere out on the East Coast and like. I ain't gonna do that to like Lush because you know we, you know what I'm saying I wasn't the one who set that battle up in the first place, so I ain't gonna give it to somebody else because that's just loyalty in my opinion. You know what I mean? I it's mean, the same well, thing. listen, well, listen, you know, you know, you know, Gunline Battleground, we extended family over here, man, of the Grind Time family. So you know, we would gladly put that on over here in, in, in Philly, and you know, bring oh, I'm you pretty sure you and, and I'm listen, pretty sure you listen, <laughs> listen, we would gladly bring you an Arsenal to Philly. Man, and put, and put it and put it and, put, and bring Lush out here and the whole squad out here, man. And we do it big right here in Philly, man. You know what I'm saying? And make and, 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 and complete that cipher. You did. If you if you collab on some shit like that and made it happen, you already know I'm down. As long I as I don't, I'm so toast because I'm gonna do the same thing to you if you was doing some shit with me. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. So you know, before we get up out of here, man, we're like we ask everybody, man. Right off top, man, give me your top five battle MCs active right now. Uh, let me see. Um, uh, active right now. Like, I, I don't know if they're going to be the actual top five, but, like, my personal favorites. In no like, order. In no specific order. But just, you know what I mean? Your, your top five. Order, I'd say Soulcon. I'd say Hollow. I'd say um, Math. So it's like Math, Soulcon, Hollow. Um, I definitely don't consider Solomon top five. Uh, Averb is definitely not top five either. That fool's like fucking number fifteen or sixteen. Uh, let me see. Uh, 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 let me see. Like I know motherfuckers don't really feel him that much, but I'll tell you, Kid Twist from Canada, man, he's he's incredible, man. Like he probably hasn't had like the most craziest performance recently, but like definitely to keep a uh, lookout for that dude. Like hey, yo, he, he, yo, yo, shout out to King of the Dot, man. We gotta get some interviews up there, man. You know what I mean? You know I gotta get a I gotta get up to Toronto too, man. Shout out to Bishop Bagante. And the whole family up there too, man. You know what I mean? Hey, one more rapper actually from King of the Dot. Since I mentioned King of the Dot, I think an upcoming rapper from there that did recently had an incredible performance is Pat Stay. Shout out to check him out too. Yeah. You know I mean, so maybe those, Yeah. I, I would say like uh, those, are, those are like the top five right now in my opinion. You know what I mean? Pat Stay, Pat Stay, Hollow the Dot, Man from, I didn't even name anybody from Cali. Yeah, you didn't. Hey, you kept it 100. Yeah, you kept it 100. You kept it 100. Like, like we always ask people other than themselves, you know what I mean? You know, name they top five, you know? And you didn't even name yourself. Nah, I'm definitely not going to name myself. That ain't for me to do. That's for, that's for the people to do, you feel me? For real. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. So, you know, hey, like, hey, yo, hey, and this, and this, before we get up out of here, too. Who was your last three battles since they ain't been aired yet, man? Since they ain't been throwing up on, on you know what I mean, on the internet yet. Let the people know who your last three battles was with. All right, these three battles should come out right now in the month of December. One of them is just like a it's just like a quick battle at this event. It was not a big event. It was just a, a spot where there was a show going on. It was against Jersey Swift. That should be coming out in like this week. 
And then after that, in like a week and a half, maybe the Slave Battle gonna come out. Slave Seven, New York. That was the GTE. So shout out to all of them. It was a fucking amazing experience. Yeah, and shout then out to Team Army, Slave Seven, yeah, and Team everybody. Army. Yeah, every, everybody that was over there was hella fucking cool, man. It was it was definitely a great experience. And then, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, what, uh, the Don't Flop. So, you know I mean? For those who aren't familiar with Don't Flop, is a division in, in England. They, they got a lot of uh, upcoming rappers that are amazing. They got a dope-ass scene out there. But, uh, yeah, again, Senta. He's like their best dude right now. He's like, he battled me and Sokhan on the same day, man. So everybody look out for both battles. Him and Sokhan was fucking heated as fuck, and we both, like, we both had heated battles, so uh, that shit's gonna come out probably to the end of December. I know SoCon and Sense are dropping on the 11, so I'm somewhere after that, you know what I mean? Okay, how did you fare in each one of those battles? Man, man, why you guys, why you guys wanna fuck with me, man? You know how I feel about my last couple battles. Y'all see how I'm gonna act? <laughs> no, come on, come on, come on now. Come on now, it's me. It's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's Petey Green. It's Petey Green talking to you, bro. Come on, let's go. Such a fucking maniac. I went out there and I did my thing, man. I fucking I did what I was supposed to do. How about that? I, I, I didn't see. Let's I didn't go. Me. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Let the people know how they can get at you, man. Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and hit me on twitter.com slash Mr. Disaster. You know what I mean? Or Facebook MC Disaster. I think you put a space between the MC. I just got on Facebook, man. I don't know how the fucking shit works, how you search for names, but that, that should be be good enough right there those, those two. Oh yeah my youtube account is also mc disaster one word subscribe bitches for sure for sure for sure man i appreciate you falling down on us man tonight man pause man you know you know <laughs> <laughs> hey yo you gotta send us that music man i know like the gun line battleground man we highlight the mcs man let us let the people know man that y'all do make good music too man as well as crush motherfuckers you know what, in the battle scene you. Hey, I haven't been making a lot of music recently, you know what I'm saying? But, like, right now I'm back in the studio, so I will have some shit soon, man, that I definitely will send to y'all. All right, well, you know, you got to, you know, you know, drop it on me first, man. But, you know, we're going to try to put that battle together, man. You know, Arch was on the show two weeks ago, and, you know, you know, we asked him some things, man. I'm pretty sure you heard that interview, man. If not, man, check it out on our YouTube channel. <laughs> Huh? Dude, what was the flock of ass talking about on there? Hey, yo, just ch check it out on our YouTube channel, man. Philly Coalition Radio, man. You know, and you know, he, he had a lot of shit to say, man. So, you know, you might want to check it out, man. And, you know, we put that battle together, man, at the top of the year. So, you know, what do you know, man? You know, y'all might get a chance to finish it out here, man. No police going to stop that out here, man. Hey, that's what it is, man. As long as, yeah, as long as he's down, I'm with it, yeah. Yeah, Hit for up, sure, man. You know, you know, we make it happen, man. It's just a little logistics, you dead? For sure, man. For sure, man. Like I said, man, I appreciate you falling down on us, man. Like I said, man, we played the last battle between you and No Can Do, man. That's the last one that was put up on YouTube. So for all my peoples that's listening, go check out the disaster. No Can Do, Grizzle Mania 2 battle. It's on YouTube. It's on the Grind Time Now page, man. You know, check it out. Recommend it to a friend. Yeah. Tell a friend, <laughs> tell a friend. You dig? And disaster, you know, let the people know, man, you know, y'all gonna have this interview up in a minute, man. So if you got somebody, you know, that you want to ruffle their feathers, man, let them know, man, you want their head in a book bag, man, before we get up out of here, man. Let them know right now. Let them know right now you want their head in a book bag. Put it this way, man. You motherfuckers know who you are. You're out there saying you're the best or that you're better than so-and-so. I want to fuck your fucking life up. I will take your head and I'll put it in a box and I'll kick it down a fucking staircase and I'll light a fire. <laughs> for sure. For sure. For sure, bro, man. I appreciate you hitting us up, man. You know what I mean? It's the hey, girl I'm you, know, you, know, you know I got mad love for you motherfuckers, man? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Plain rides, man, and good Buddha, man. That's how we do it around here. And, and mashed potatoes. Say <laughs> plain rides, man. <laughs> yeah, plain rides, good Buddha, mashed potatoes, home fries, and chicken wings. You dig? <laughs> ah, that is uh, that. Yeah, that was great, man. Good, good looking once again. You feel me? Yeah, for All sure, right. man. That's how we do it around here, man. Sure. Appreciate you, bro. Peace. Right, well, let me know what's good, man. Holla at me. No right. doubt. The Gunline Battleground Radio Show, man. Each and every Thursday, man, 10 to 1. Yeah, we do it. We here, man. We keep them One coming, of West man. Coast's finest. Yeah, yeah, West yeah, Coast. yeah, yeah. That's the Fresh Coast finest, man. Mr. Disaster. I ain't, you know